Stayallday.com. So what I'm doing here is a plank. I'm sure all you have seen a plank before. This is a basic core exercise, a basic strength exercise, same way to a pull up or a push up or a crunch is for the other areas of your body. With this plank, she's trying. Maria's trying to get me into the perfect alignment for doing the plank, which is keeping the shoulders down and pressing the belly button up. So you want to press your belly button up towards the ceiling, but you're not lifting your ass in the air. You're keeping your back straight. You see how she's pushing down on my back. That pressure there, I should be able to hold the position without sagging at the hips. So when you're doing a plank, your body should be in a straight line from your shoulders to your waist to your knees to your toes. And as she gets up there on my back, you see with that extra weight, my core should be strong enough to hold her up while I'm still standing in that plank position. So this is a extra weight added on to that plank. If you ever seen somebody in the gym doing it, they might put a couple weight plates on their back or something like that. Then I'm going into this downward dog position and stretching out the hip. So lifting that leg up, bending the knee, and pressing that heel over to the opposite glute. And then she's going to pull it back to get a stretch to open up the hip flexor, which is that muscle in the front of the hip. When you lift your knee up, if you were like marching and you lift your knees up really high, the hip flexor is that muscle that flexes right there at the waist where you're bending. Stretching that out is when you jump, you notice you thrust one knee up in the air. Having flexible hip flexors will help you jump higher and give you more power with that thrusting knee. Hit that thumbs up to like this video. If you want any other workout similar to this and what I'm doing here, a full workout program, check out that Ultimate Athlete at Hoop Handbook. Work on your game.